Hello everyone, X-Men 490 here, and welcome to Let's Play Glover. This is Glover, a uh, sort of puzzle platformer for the Nintendo 64, PC, and I think the PlayStation, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess so, because this is a third party game and whatnot. Uh, and whatever, I'll keep stuff like that, it doesn't really matter. There's high scores and all that, and then like you can look at practice to replay the levels. Oh wait, no, this is just the practice level. I guess I'll show this off. Basically, shows you can the, the controls, which I guess I can use this. I won't be talking to these Mr. Tip, whatever these guys are. Uh, but yeah, uh, you press while not using your ball. You tap A to jump and Z to do a ground pound. When using your ball, you can tap B repeatedly to dribble the ball and A to slap it. And also, you hold B to start throwing the ball and you press Z to cancel throwing the ball. You can also throw the ball when you're just standing, I guess. And also, you can aim the slap by doing that by holding A. So indeed, those are, well, the basic controls. Also the C buttons move the camera around. Uh, R button changes the ball, like this is the bowling ball, which is very heavy. And oh yeah, you tap A repeatedly to throw it into the air. And then this one is also a very thick and heavy ball. I kind of like it, except that it doesn't have the mobility of the regular ball. And this is the crystal ball. If anything hits it, it breaks. So those are the mechanics of the ball, which are the main importance of the game. The, uh, the, the, um, the point of this game is basically to bring the ball from the um, the start of the level to the end of the level. Now there are switches around, and this one with the uh, target on it. Yeah, this one you just bring the ball onto it, and it's, things will happen. Like this spot filled up with sand. Also, uh, in water, like when there's shallow water, you can go around on it, except that you cannot dribble. So. Also, when you're on uh, this kind of water, you'll be going uh, this way. You'll be um, walking on the ball, I guess. And uh, the, your controls are reversed when you're doing this, so uh, keep in mind. So yeah, like you touch the ball and you automatically go like that. And you can roll on up. You can uh, you can do that uh, that whole standing on the on the ball thing by pressing L. So yeah, you press R. Oh, you can hold B to change the ball. So yeah, the bowling ball, as it is very heavy, will sink. And also this one sinks too. And uh, the crystal ball and the regular bouncy ball do not do that. Now, when you're faced against these crates, a good idea is to hit them with the bowling ball. I'm not sure... Ah. Well, okay, get back here. Uh, yeah, you, ha you have to hit them with the bowling ball. Yep. Or you can do a ground pound to bash them. So, do a ground pound here. This switch, you have to do a ground pound onto and that is a, uh, a target thing that you hit with the ball. Kind of like the one that we saw earlier. Now we're going to have to... Oh yeah, the uh, down C button changes the camera perspective. Camera perspective from regular to far away and whatnot. Yes, indeed. And th this is basically like a controls video, so you don't have to watch this if you already know how to play this game. See how you touch that with a uh, target with the ball, and you dribble on up to here, and you have to bring the ball to that area, the spinny vortex of happiness, to finish the level. You have to be with the ball and get on to there. So that's the basic 
uh, controls of this game. Yes. So let's start it up. Start the game. And then I guess yeah, this is yeah, Mr. Tip. He's like, oh, talk to me by pressing B. And you can go back to that tutorial level when you go by going down that well, which I don't want to do. So gotta be careful. Now, uh, you see, whenever there's a ball out here, you have to bring it into here, which is inside the castle. And then when you go inside, this will happen. The ball, will, with its magical energy of happiness, will be brought onto the uh, one of these spots right here. All the balls have to be there, and then you, well, you beat the game when all of them are there. But keep in mind, there are some bosses and stuff. Oh yeah, and also, uh, that statue... This, uh, uh, okay, oh yeah, it holds a C button up. Yeah, that's that's the wizard. At first, eh, before I used to think that that's a monkey head. <laughs> you know, because like, like there's the mouth and then the eyes, but no, it's, it's actually the wizard. The wizard with his big old beard. Uh, funny thing is that there aren't any other people in this game. Uh-huh. So, my reasons for LPing this game. Uh, first of all, oh yeah, you hold Z to do this. Yeah. Uh, my reasons for LPing this game. Basically, it's, well, it's a rather underrated game. I have seen a couple of LPs of it by uh, Stitch KL or Stitches and Jerakai. I guess I'll put up uh, annotations uh, for, the, for their channels. But uh, the first world, uh, there are, I don't know, like five or six worlds in the game. And this first one is Atlantis. Now you go there to go back to the castle, so yeah. Now let me put my volume down so you don't hear too much of an echo. Uh. Whee! So yeah, this is the first level of Atlantis, the water level, water world. It's kind of a... Yeah, the, the, the worlds in this game are actually kind of interesting. Now, in this playthrough, I'm... Well, yeah, the the like, they're... Like, you might... No, you haven't. Um... Uh, let me explain the collectibles. This thing gives you an extra life, as you know, so that five there got to six. So, yeah. And it also gives you points, which are in the corner, which I really like that about this game. You know, you can get points. And these are Garibs. There are, like, for this level, there are 50. And, uh, getting them all? Well, in normal mode, which I'm playing this in, in, uh, in easy mode, oh yeah, you should watch out because that thing can hurt you, your ball. Uh, you see, in normal mode, you can press, you can hold R to find out where the garabs are. Of uh, that, this shark thing can hurt you, so watch out. And when, uh, yeah, you see your uh, your score is doubled when you're using the uh, the crystal ball basically because it's so fragile. But yeah, if you get multiple garbs in a row, like one, two, three, you know, quickly in a row, you'll get increasingly more points, like 20, 100, and 500. So that's a nice thing. I think if you get, the more points you get in the game, then the more, um, then you get some lives, so that's a nice thing to know about and a nice thing to do. Uh, now to get all the garbs in the level is actually rather difficult because some of them are hidden, perhaps sometimes in those boxes, oh yeah, and sometimes in enemies like this one. You see I took some damage there and one of those hearts on the bottom of the screen there was were lost. Oh yeah, if you tap X repeatedly then you do that. And if you tap A repeatedly, you do that, and if you hold Z, then you do that. Which is actually, 
yeah, those things are actually kind of useful, you know, if you're trying to avoid enemies and such. So we're just grabbing these garbs like was no thing. Oh, by the way, I really like this tune. Uh, let me let Mr. Tip explain. Yeah, that was a checkpoint. Throw the ball, throwing the ball through it, and you can return there if you lose a life. Now this, I think you do. You push up against it. Now you see this is this column. You can push away. And there are some garbs, and I think, okay, yeah, and then a one-up thing, one-up ball thing. I'm not quite sure. I think there are some uh, garbs in these, these fish. Uh, you gotta watch out for them. Oh yeah, you also get some health from grabbing garbs. So if you aren't so good at this game, then you should keep in mind that you should keep grabbing those garbs. So yeah, also your ball has kind of a health sort of thing too. If it gets hit, then it will lose some air and there'll be a little a little band-aid on it, so, uh, or a bandage on it. Um, also, yeah, Glover sinks in water, so, yeah. Um, the thing with the bandages, uh, I'm not quite sure it takes like three bandages on, um, on the ball to for it to be s destroyed or something I'm not quite sure how many but yeah the three like the crystal ball will just break with just one hit but the other ones will take a few more so we're just hopping around grabbing these ah those that's it for the garibs but there's a, um, a lovely little one-up thing right there uh, by the way, while you're on the uh, on the ball, when you're on the ball here, you can ground pound it when you're directly on it to do a high jump, which is very useful. So that's it for the first level of Glover. Fairly easy level, very easy level, I guess. You know, as long as you know that column that gets knocked down, and then this screen, you uh, you know, you get your things, you know the time for the level and then some other timer thing I don't really know what it's for I guess the 20 the thing that said 29 there was how many minutes I played in the game overall but whatever 